We are live, and this just in, you guys, Morgan Freeman is being accused of inappropriate behavior and harassment. Eight women have come forward to CNN saying they were victims, and another eight people say they witnessed his behavior. One of the accusations is from a production assistant who says Freeman touched her and commented about her figure, including trying to lift up her skirt and asking her if she was wearing underwear. Freeman just released a statement saying, quote, I apologize to anyone who felt uncomfortable or disrespected. That was never my intent. So uh, really quickly, uh, based on her account also, she had said that Alan Arkin, who was also on that set for the movie that he was shooting with, this was in 2015 with Morgan Freeman, he's the one, according to her, that actually shut Morgan Freeman down and said this is inappropriate, you can't be doing those things, saying those was things. Was that Las so Vegas? No, it wasn't Las Vegas. Okay. It was a different film, but it okay. wasn't that. Um, but I would like to hear from Alan Arkin now to see if he can corroborate her story. Yeah, and I, I would like to hear from him just because... Um, I think that people need to know what the appropriate course of action is when something like that happens in front of them. I think a lot of us are very much silenced or sometimes threatened by the idea of speaking up, even when we, in our guts, know it's wrong. Yeah, it, but it caught us talking. We were surprised. Morgan Freeman, right? We never thought right. we would hear Morgan Freeman's name attached to the Me Too movement, attached to the Time's Up movement. And then when we were talking earlier, we couldn't come up with names other than Tom Hanks and <laughs> President Obama. Right. Who, why is that, Al? Because we give, we, Morgan Freeman is just a person that we elevated to this ideological level. He is now this person that's got an incredible amount of power. He's got money. He's got people looking up to him. He's got women that are probably out of his league flirting with him his entire life. And you start to feel yourself. That's the only way to put it. And when you finally run into an intern and you, you've been living this privileged life where you can just, because that probably worked for 30 years. Right. His same tactics where he goes, hey girl, what you doing? Let's hang out later. That girl's like, oh, okay. And then when that stops, all of a sudden you look crazy. But um, for his entire life, we give these people these passes for their entire life, and then when it ends, we look at them like, how could you do that? It's, be it's because we, as a collective, have have put them on this pedestal just to knock them off. I'm not saying what he did is right. I'm just saying that we all do this, men and women. I agree with you. Yeah. I, I wasn't surprised by Morgan Freeman. You though, weren't be, surprised? No. I was. No, not at all. Who would surprise you? Um, Obama would surprise is me. Is there anyone else you can think of? Isn't that sad that it's... Can, I ask, you, can I ask you guys a real question? Jeff, let me come to you with this. If, if, do you think you can go your entire life without having one inappropriate night at least? I, no. No. At I, this point, absolutely Erica, not. People are Sam... Getting, people are getting... I mean, people Dude. are getting accused for taking pictures and, like, and rubbing something that they shouldn't have rubbed. Tom it, Broco went in for a kiss 50 years ago, and we talked it's, about it. it. It's, it's absolutely impossible in this day and age for a man not to get accused of something small like that. Again, now we look at the picture. What's small? What's small in somebody's eyes? Was that inappropriate to me? Was that... I accidentally bumped into you. That was my intention. I'm, I apologize for that. This person might think that was sexual harassment. It's impossible, and sometimes you guys look at us, and we, you guys think we're going crazy by, like, listen, when we take pictures, we're going to take them like this. When we approach a woman, I don't really want to have that conversation with them. And you guys talk to, uh, you guys look at us like we're crazy. This is the era that we I live in. I don't think, think you're, you're crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, I I'm think just, that you're, we're it's, all it's culpable. Very, I don't want to lose my job or my position, everything I worked hard for, because of some silliness. Because you're, of some silliness. It's not and I silliness, don't wanna, but you're right. right and I don't want to equate it to silliness. No, you shouldn't. And I actually feel for you right now. I feel for both of you, because you're both great guys, and you shouldn't equate it to silliness, because right. I'm so proud of all the women that have had the courage to, to speak. However, we got to make sure that we don't, our pendulum doesn't swing too too far where it's going to penalize uh, men like you or even not be able to differentiate certain behaviors or give people their fair share. Right. With, and uh, I didn't mean to say silly. Again, I don't want to get in trouble. We're a live show. Yes, yes. Yeah, of course.